hey YouTube, it's ICU. And in under a week, Apple's going to announce iOS 10, the next major update to iOS. So what is it actually going to offer? Well, right now we don't know, but in today's video, I'm going to share my personal wish list with you guys, five features that I hope make the cut in iOS 10. Now, if you want additional information on WWDC down below in the more info, there's going to be a link that will actually talk about the conference as well as how you'll be able to watch it live. So you'll be able to see the features that you'll actually get this fall on iOS 10 first before anyone else. Just be sure to check it out. I'm really excited about it. So up first, we have the number one feature that I want, an intelligent Siri. Siri's okay right now. It doesn't really get everything, right? Hey Siri, what's two plus two? Let's see. Here's what I found on the web for what's two plus two. No, that's not what I said at all. So Siri could definitely use some general improvements, but what I'm really talking about is kind of a machine learning algorithm. So Siri knows who you are personally, and Siri can differentiate you and me. So Siri knows who I am, knows what I like, and some of the things that I'm actually interested in. So maybe Siri could be better entwined with Proactive and the Proactive feature suite that was introduced in iOS 9. We're going to talk about that in just a second though. Don't forget about it. So I really want Siri to know who I am and who you are and to be able to differentiate between people because right now she can't. I also want Siri to know my preferences when I go from my iPhone to my iPad. That would be absolutely epic. Now, number two, we have dark mode. Apple did a really great job with introducing Flux because let's face it, night shift is basically Flux in iOS 9.3, but they need to take it a step further than that. We've all come to know and love the simple, basic, flat, and kind of white UI that Jonathan Ive pioneered in iOS 7, but what would be even better than that is if at night we had the option to pick between that view and one that was more heavily focused on dark darker colors so that the viewing experience could be easier on the eyes at night, even easier than it is currently with night shift. Now, if you believe all the rumors circulating throughout the Apple blogosphere right now, dark mode will probably make the cut in iOS 10. Now for number three, we have split view or split screen multitasking. Now this one has been around and it's been on the iPads, but what I really want is it on the iPhones. Heck, even the plus series iPhones like the 6 plus and 6s plus and what will probably be the iPhone 7 plus could really benefit from split screen multitasking, what do you think? Would you actually use it more if it were on an iPhone? I know I really don't even use it on my iPads right now. I just switch back and forth between open applications, but on an iPhone, I really think that that could be awesome and improve mobile productivity. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Number four, virtual home-like functionality, which is a tweak for jailbroken devices. I wanna be able to rest my finger on a device's home button with Touch ID, not actually pressing it and have it emulate a press. If Apple's going to make the transition eventually from a physical home button to an inlaid one on future iPhone models, they might as well start laying the groundwork now in iOS 10 for that and get us used to not having physical home buttons on a device or at least not clickable home buttons. And finally, for number five, we have just a general improvement and really a request to Apple, please improve Proactive. I was so hyped for Proactive when it was unveiled alongside iOS 9. And of course, I was let down like so many others when iOS 9 went public. I can't even really tell you how many times I've used Proactive because guess what? I haven't really at all. For those of you who don't know, Apple's Proactive feature suite in iOS 9 was really meant to be something that kind of learns what your next move is going to be and offers up applications similar to that. For instance, if you always wake up and launch the music application or launch iBooks, let's say, and read through a book, then it will offer up that application accordingly inside of the multitasking view. It never really works consistently and it doesn't really learn your habits. Also, this ties back into the first feature that I talked about, an artificial intelligent version of Siri. So Siri and Proactive would work great together. I really think that that's what's next for Apple. Apple. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts about iOS 10 down below in the comments section. Also, the very first link in the description will not only contain the wallpaper that I'm currently rocking on my iPhone 6S Plus, but also some really awesome concepts for iOS 10 and some really great images too. So video as well as image concepts. Quick giveaway update. My iPad Pro 9.7 inch giveaway recently concluded. I'm still sifting through all of the entries. The support I received on it has been absolutely phenomenal. So thank you so much for entering. 
and the winner will be randomly chosen and authenticated shortly. Remember, they do have to be authenticated, meaning they have to have entered the giveaway successfully. Once we actually have a random winner who has been authenticated, I will contact them via YouTube, so the announcement should be in their inbox shortly, and I will also make the announcement publicly on Twitter. Stay tuned for that, follow me if you have yet to, and if you want to be updated more often, just click the subscribe button. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.